Okay, so it is Saturday afternoon. Uh, I just posted my video of the crayon melting. At the moment, um, yeah, uh, I think I might be starting over. So, but um, I've started over before, and I don't think the idea is dead. So I think there's still some life in this particular idea. Uh, it's been a while. I have a hard time doing these because when I'm out here, it's usually I have a set amount of time to be out in the shop. And, you know, these are easy videos to make, but they do take a little bit of time. And I could be using that time for, you know, making stuff in the shop. And um, so I don't do these as often as I, I would like to. I'm not going to make any promises. I don't, I don't think I'll do them any more frequently. So just know that I know I, you know, don't make these as frequently as you'd like. WIA was great. It was really fun. I had a good time. Met lots of people, uh, creators and viewers and woodworkers and fellow crazy people. So I showed off the bacon handle to lots of people. Uh, I don't think I even brought, I brought a handful of wood projects with me, but nobody was really interested in those. So the video woodworkers booth was really popular. Um, I wasn't a part of that but I did come down and hang out and I met a lot of people. Just getting to sit down and talk to people, I tried to have long conversations with folks. That was sort of my thing, is I didn't just want to be flippant with people. I wanted to sit down and have a long conversation or talk, you know, about things at length with people. So I tried to do that. And um, it was fun, it was nice, you know? It's nice to, to hear back from people and talk to other creators you know, I had a really nice conversation with uh, Mark Christopher. I had a conversation with a gentleman named Cody, who's from um, Kentucky, I think he said. And uh, he actually gave me the idea for the Dip It video with the, um, the credit card and epoxy. You know, I got to hang out with Jimmy DeResta and David Welder. And here's a little something you probably don't know. Nick Ferry invited a few of us up to his room and I got to try my first Bud Light. It was myself. Drew Short and Andrew Klein and um, went up to his place and had a nice beer. So, and that's the last thing I remember. And it was so weird. Uh, I met Chris Shea from, uh, he's got a chop with Chris and he walked up and he's wearing his, um, his yellow shirt and he said, hi, I'm Chris. I was like, I know, <laughs> I totally know. <laughs> and Mike Fulton from MF Woodshop actually gave out a few of these and I was one of the um, oh it's upside down so thank you Mike it's really cool he wrote a little nice note on the back said this is the only one he made with epoxy so it's a special one thank you Mike and um, yeah it was nice I had a nice long conversation with him as well and his wife uh, and actually you know went for a, a he actually uh, gave us a ride back from the Mego Mimo meetup so it was really good really 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 had a good time would definitely do something like that again. I got a note from Chris. His channel is called Adventures in DIY. And I got a cool sticker from Chris. I also got this. On the last video, I mentioned Iron Fist, who is a superhero in the Marvel Universe. And Chris sent me this. This is veneer pine. And they cut it really, really thin, and you can actually write on it like you would a notepad. So, and he drew the um, Iron Fist logo, the Danny Rand logo for me. So, thank you, Chris. I thought that was really cool. I will be sending you back a Shop Time sticker as well. I don't know why I get excited about International Post, but I think it's really cool. So, Paul's got a cool channel. It's uh, My Woodworking World. There we go. There we go. So thank you, Paul. I'll go ahead and put that one up on the sticker wall. And <clears throat> Carl Jacobson and Alan over at As Wood Turns announced the 2015 um, Turned Ornament Challenge. And I got a note from Mr. Derek Oliver, who has a, uh, has a channel. It's some sort of a thesis. The beat Peter Brown like a rented mule in the Christmas Ornament Project Challenge. Plans and drawings designed by Derek Oliver. Forward by Peter Brown. Oh, good luck with that. What else? How many pages have you got in this thing? Instructions. Make a Christmas ornament. That makes sense. 
make a video of the process, submit ornament, graciously accept first prize. I'd like to acknowledge the inspiration, Flo and her work in the Progressive Insurance, Frederick Nietzsche, Steve Stifler for his work in American Pie 1 and 2, but not the rest, Tim the Destroyer, I couldn't have done it without you, Derek, you are a nut. So, yes, there is an ornament challenge going on right now, and um, apparently you're not going to win because Derek's already got that solidified. Huh. I'm looking for my... I got a whole container of stickers from WIA, and I put them aside specifically for this video so that I wouldn't lose them. And I've lost them. Get a... Um, a little plaque from YouTube. It's a congratulations for 100,000 subscribers. As I've said before, subscribers are just a vanity number, but it feels pretty good to get this, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, one, two, three, four failures right in a row, all within four days. I tried one on each day. I was like, well, that's fine. I've got three more projects. Oh, that's fine. I've got two more projects. Well, that's fine. I've got another idea. And then the last one, you know, failed. I was like, oh, okay, this sucks. <laughs> and uh, and that's when I came up with the crayon idea. And the crayon idea seems like a great idea. And I'm still sold on, I think I can make that one work. So, yeah, I think I can make that one work. <laughs> there we go, I found them. Oh yeah, there's Mark Christopher's sticker. Drew Short from Rockin' H Woodshop. Braxton, who is hilarious. I met Braxton at WIA, and all I got was this lousy sticker. Sean from Stone and Sons, who actually gave me a lift in his sweet minivan. The Vertruvian Woodshop? I think that's how you say it. He also gave me a couple pencils, which are currently in the pencil drawer, so thank you very much for that. Always could use shop pencils. Uh, Bearded Woodsmith, Sponge and Works. This guy was so much fun to hang out with. I got a sticker from a viewer. Uh, him and his, I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend, were there, and they're steampunk enthusiasts. So, long story short, went to WIA, got a bunch of stickers, came back, failed at every single thing I've done, made a video about it. Catch you next time.